Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Well, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Holding. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. And that has sent him sprawling. Well, they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. And then he... It's all the wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on. This could be rather exciting. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. I doubt very much that this was in the script. He's fouled. Jeffrey has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Obama Yang really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out.